Yes, we have to treat a black woman with respect. We have to love our black women. We got to treat our black woman with love. I actually see, I see this, I've been seeing this all my life. I've been looking at how some black men, they talk to white women and other women of other nationalities with love and respect and they make them, they, they basically make those white women laugh. They make those white women feel happy about themselves. But when they see a black woman or when they talk to a black woman, they talk to the black woman with a high, a high disrespect. They're very loud, loud and disrespectful to that black woman to the point to the point that they make that black woman angry make that black woman want to argue or they make that black woman cry and make that black woman feel bad it messes up her day they mess, they mess that black woman day up they make that black woman be irked they irk that black woman they get on that black woman nerves that black woman be upset and sad and angry and she don't feel comfortable she don't feel safe around that that black man is loud talking to her. his voice is loud it's so loud that it's like it's violent his voice is violent he's like you woman you hear me you woman and he, you, and he calling her all kinds of names calling the names of garden tools calling the names of of dogs and heat calling the names of animals farm animals calling the the worstest names he can call a human being and then he want to hit on her and beat on her and that's just his that's just his pregnant wife or his pregnant girlfriend he want to beat on her and curse at her and loud talk her. but when he's around a white woman He's talking to that white woman with so much love and so much respect. But then, you know, on the other hand, it's guys that they talk to the black woman with the utmost respect. They're like, they're black nationalists that love black women. They're treating the black woman with respect. They're treating the light-skinned black woman with respect. And they're treating the brown-skinned woman with respect. But when they see a, a, a white woman, they beating on that white woman and they're tying the white woman up, raping the white woman, sodomizing the white woman and punching on the white woman, cursing the white woman out, making the white woman be a, a sex slave and then they they got the white woman as they, 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 they concubines and then they got them out prostituting and then they get money off of these white women having these white women do all kinds of crazy things using the white woman as a a weapon telling the white women to hurt other people and they and they doing crimes using that white woman making pornographic material and harming people with using the white woman that white woman is under hypnosis black man shouldn't be doing that harming no woman you should treat all women all women with respect honor their black woman honor all women treat all women with respect and dignity and treat men with respect and dignity there's even some men that beat on gay men and rape gay men and he rob gay men it's gay men that's scared to go into a man's bathroom that's why it was that transgendered man was howling and arguing because he wanted to go into a woman's bathroom because it's men that claim that they're straight is beating and raping and and molesting and robbing gay men they are sodomizing gay men and they believe that they're straight that mentally ill men that believe that they're straight and they're beating on them gay men, sodomizing them gay men, and they even raping them gay men. 
So it's gay men that's scared to go into a man's bathroom because they look they look like a woman. Is his men is gay? They look like women now. They look, and then some may even say that they even look better than women. Is women that are so beautiful that some people mistake them for men they say are you a man and she says why are you going to say that i'm a man i'm a woman but it's men that look so much like a woman and then they be so they be like so pretty that people be thinking that they be confused so i'm going to say this treat all people with respect whether they are gay or lesbian or transgendered or or someone you don't even know what they is it's some people they are hermaphrodite hermaphrodites they are people that are human beings that have both sexes they're male and female at the same time if they are male and female at the same time and they look like a female then you're going to have to treat them like a female but if they are male and female at the same time and they look like a male then you got to treat them like a male i know this world is getting complicated but you have to pray on things and you have to just try your best to treat everybody with some type of dignity and some type of respect Try not to lust over people. Try to talk to people with respect because that person could be married. That person could be married to a woman or that person could be married to a man. That that person could be in a relationship. So when you are online or if you're talking to somebody, try to talk to them with respect. Try not to say anything. Uh, disrespectful and try not to sexually harass a woman and try not to sexually harass a man stay away from all forms of pedophilia and also if you are a human being or whatever you are stay away from bestiality do not rape no animal don't rape no farm animal don't rape any animal in the zoo don't rape your pets treat the animal with respect peace thank you for listening if you don't understand what I just said please listen to it again so you can understand it And do your research about sexuality and do your research about the human anatomy and do your research about philosophy and religion. Thank you for listening. Peace.